This Cupid's bow right here though, this one, girl, she needs some help. Help me, help me. What's going on Slay Bays? It's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this smoked out cranberry look that is definitely dramatic. You guys see my shirt, it says Rebel. Like if this isn't a Rebel makeup look, I don't know what is. This is that look that you wanna wear on Thanksgiving day so that way everybody knows to pass you the cranberries. No? Too much? Anyways, today's video is going to be a full face using nothing new. I really wanted to recycle some old products because sometimes I get into the habit of filming makeup looks using a bunch of new products in every single video that I don't even think that you guys want me to recycle old products and use them again to show you guys how to create different makeup looks. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. If you guys like these kind of videos, let me know down below in the comments or just let me know by giving this video a big old like. Likes always help me out on my channel. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell, it's free. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You guys don't wanna miss out on the heat I have dropping. I'm gonna be filming so many more fall makeup looks, so if this is a little bit dramatic, don't even fret, I got you. I will be creating more wearable looks in the future. With that being said, I'm gonna zoom you in just a teeny bit not too much and we're gonna get started on the look so let's state the obvious the only thing i have done right now are my brows and my eyelid primer i do have a little bit of sunscreen on i am using this one right here by elta md this is the uv elements broad spectrum spf 44 i love this sunscreen i've already gone through an entire tube and this is my new one this is my backup i just ordered it on amazon if you guys are interested in it i will have it listed down below but anyways besides that i will jump into eyeshadow first the shadow palette I'm going to use today is this one right here by I Love City Eat and ColourPop. I've used this once and never again. No idea why, but a lot of you wanted me to film my next fall look using this palette right here. So I really want to create more of a cranberry burgundy eye. The first shade I'm going to pick up is called In a Wink, which is a really soft shade. I'm going to put that in my crease to act as a base color before I go in with my transitional shade. Now this is a step I do sometimes, not all the times. It really just depends. Like if I'm looking at the shades and I'm a little bit intimidated by the color story, I will lay down a very thin layer of shadow just to kind of protect myself when it comes to blending because I don't know what it is. Anytime I step outside of my neutrals and I start experimenting with color, I start to get a little bit nervous and my blending just isn't as good. So I do like to use this base color as a safety net. So try it out. You guys may really like it, you may hate it, but this is just my style of doing makeup. Maybe you'll really appreciate it, maybe you won't. The next shade I'm gonna pick up is this one right here. It's called Nostalgia. I'm gonna take it on that same M441 and I'm gonna deepen up my crease with this. Now with this shade, I'm only gonna focus it right here in my crease. I'm trying not to take it above that transitional shade just because I do still want a little bit of that peeking through. You guys don't know what happened to me yesterday. I was coming in from outside and I had to grab something in my filming room and there's this gate that kind of blocks my filming room and the kitchen and I actually tripped over the gate, fell into the cage and smashed my knees like on the hard tile floor and now my knees are like so bruised and I have an event in like a day or like a day and a half and my knees are like black and bruised. It actually hurt really, really bad and I wanted to cry in that moment, but then I went in the car and I was like trying to hold it all in and Bobita was like, are you okay? And I like started to cry because I was in so much pain from <laughs> falling. It was so bad. One thing you guys may not know about me is that I'm really, really clumsy. I'm always falling into things. I'm always tripping. I bruise super easily. So anytime I fall, I'm like, oh, that's going to bruise. And within like maybe five to six minutes, I looked at my knee and I could already tell that it was getting black and blue. I mean, I hit the floor pretty hard. Moving on, let's actually go in with the next shade. It's called Misbehave. Now, I remember the last time I used this shade, I did have some issues with it. So I'm hoping today is a completely different story. I'm gonna go in with an M507 and I'm really going to focus this right here in the outer V. So I'm gonna kind of stamp it. Y'all already know how this goes. I will just stamp it and then I'll kind of flick it inwards just to start, you know, intensifying the look. So I'm gonna switch brushes to an M433 by Morphe and I'm gonna continue packing on the shade called Misbehave. And I actually think, you know what, I'm just gonna blend this all over the lid. Even though I am gonna go in with the lid color, sometimes I feel like when I do this step, it just gives it more of a seamless blend. So I'm just going to brush this all over just so that way it blends a little bit more even and nice. 
Now on a clean M433, I'm just picking up a little bit of that peachy tone shade called In a Wink. And I'm gonna tap off and I'm gonna lightly dust a little bit of this right above that burgundy, just so that way everything blends a little bit better. And I picked up way too much. As you can see, it kind of just like fell all over the place, but you guys get what I'm doing here. I am gonna go in to this shade right here. It's called Davina. Now last time I did use this shade, I did have some issues in addition to misbehave, but I'm hoping that's not the case today. I am gonna take a cleaner brush and I'm gonna first start off by really packing the shade called Davina in the outer V, but I'm only gonna go in with a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of pack it in a very, very soft way. And I'm just gonna go in small circular motions right here in my outer V. I really don't want this to be too intense or too crazy. At least that's what I tell myself now. I'm sure I'll get carried away here in a bit. But as you can see, that created a little bit of dimension, but nothing too harsh. And that's why I'm using a lighter hand. Sometimes I like to hold the brush right here towards the end because that allows me to put less pressure on my brush and gives me more of like a diffuse effect. So try not to hold your brush right here because if you hold it super close, you're putting more pressure on your eye and you're gonna place a lot more color that way. With an M507, I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of Davina and I'm just gonna kind of flick this shade inwards and also make sure it's nice and even in my crease. So I'm actually gonna take a break from my outer V shade just because I really wanna see where this look is gonna go once I put my lid shade on. Now I am gonna cut my crease a little bit. I'm gonna use my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Medium One Custard. You guys know, tried and true, it's what I love to use, like cut my crease. As you can see, this is an old favorite, but it is a really, really awesome product. I used to use this product to prime my eyelids all over, cut my crease. I used to use it for several different things. Now I primarily use it to just cut my crease. So I'm gonna take a M12 for by Morphe and I'm just gonna stamp out a little bit of lid space. Now that I have some lid space carved out, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. <gasps> So freaking pretty. I'm gonna put this all over my lid. I'm just gonna use the same brush, like a clean brush. This is a M124 to put it all over my eyelid. All right, so as you can see, I left a little bit of lid space right here in the very inner corner and also like a little bit in the crease. And that's because I do wanna take a little bit of this shade right here. It's called Lomo, L-O-M-O. No idea how to say that, but I'm gonna take it on an ABH A28, which is more of an eyeliner brush, and I'm going to pop it right here to give it a different effect. Because otherwise, it's just like cranberry all over the lid, you know? Since I wanna place this more precisely, I am going to spritz the brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. It's gonna give it a little bit more slip, and I'm gonna be able to put it exactly where I want it. Oh, you guys, I love it. Love that, love it so much. I'm gonna darken up the outer V with an M507 and a little bit of the shade called Davina. I'm really just going to take this color and buff it into that shimmer shade all over the lid. I'm gonna use our little smudger brush by Collab to really just stamp on the shade called Davina right here towards the base of the lash. So I'm gonna do something a little strange. I'm gonna take a liquid lipstick and I'm gonna use this as liner. This one is by Kylie Cosmetics. It's a part of the Coco Collection and it's in the shade Gorge. I put some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use this to kind of connect the liner in the inner part here with the outer V that I smoked out. A little weird. If you have a regular eyeliner, use that. If you have liquid lipstick, girl, get creative and do the damn thing. So this right here is what I'm working with. Honestly, you guys, I will definitely say I really love how the eyeliner, like the liquid lipstick eyeliner came out. I feel like it connected really, really nicely with that shade called Davina. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, then I'll come back and we'll start working on the rest of the face. Now I can definitely say this look went from being soft and subtle to extremely dramatic really, really quick. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pop on some mascara. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. This is such an oldie, but a goodie. I feel like for so long, everybody was hyping up this mascara for very, very good reasons. So I'm gonna coat my lashes very, very nicely just so that way no additional shadow is sitting on top of them. And then I'm gonna pop on some falsies. I'm gonna use these by Lily Lashes. These are in the style Mykonos. And the glue I'm gonna 
use is by Kiss. This is actually a glue I've really been loving. This is called the Eye Glue Premium Lash Strip Adhesive. This one right here is really, really good. So I'm going to continue doing this and then we can move on. Not even gonna lie, I'm really feeling this look now that my lashes are on. Normally I'll say if you're not really into falsies and skip them completely, but since my eyeshadow look is so dramatic, I definitely don't feel like it's something you can skip. So if you do opt to do it exactly how I did in today's video, I highly encourage you guys to try and test out some false lashes with the look because I feel like it really brings everything together. With that being said, I'm gonna move on. I'm actually gonna prime the skin. I'm gonna throw it back to my Smashbox Photo Finish Super Light Primer. I do really love this primer. It definitely is a throwback product for me. I'm not gonna lie um, With my eyebrows like this like very very Natural I feel crazy because I feel like they're kind of all over the place But that's because I really didn't clean them up up top. I only clean them up underneath Hopefully when I have foundation and stuff on it kind of goes a little bit better with the overall look you guys also know I love to use color corrector when doing my face makeup. I love to put this on right underneath my foundation. This is my Pixi Brightening Concentrate in the shade Brightening Peach. I usually just take a fluffy brush of some sort. It doesn't even matter the brush. And then I'll start putting it all alongside my mouth to brighten. We're also launching new color correctors with collab. I know this video is full face of nothing new. I mean, I'm using the pixie one, so nothing new, but we are launching some really, really, really awesome color correctors with collab this fall. So check your local Sally Beauty stores because they are sick. I don't know what it is, but anytime I go in with that color corrector right around my mouth, it just like instantly brightens up my face like I love the way it looks like I wish my face looked like this all the time without the color corrector but unfortunately that's not the case I also like to take a little bit of that underneath my eye to brighten we're nice we're color corrected let's actually move on to foundation you guys already know you probably saw this one coming I will be using my Maybelline matte and poreless foundation in the shade 220 tried and true holy grail this is what I always go back to it's like six bucks at Walmart very very inexpensive and the coverage on this foundation is out of this world I use this foundation for so long and it still is one of my personal favorites so I really wanted to use it and feature it in today's video because I feel like I haven't used it in a while which blows my mind there's actually so many new products on the market so I kind of got pushed in the back of my makeup drawer but I'm glad I'm revisiting it because it is a really really awesome formula it's one of those formulas that's not too mattifying it claims it's a matte and poreless but I don't find it to be super super matte it's more like a satin than anything I think you guys will really 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 love this foundation so check it out if you guys haven't already I'm gonna use my pro number 47 by Sephora and I'm just gonna kind of paint it on and then with my damp sponge by elf i'm going to buff and blend it out i also want you guys to know that the foundation is going on a little bit sheer but this formula is very much buildable so it's very very medium coverage but you can build it all the way up to full coverage which is something i like because it doesn't ever look like overly cakey or overly dry or anything like that While I'm doing my makeup, I actually started cooking lunch. Y'all, I burnt my Brussels sprouts. They are black. That's what happens when you're trying to be a boss and a housewife at the same time. I just can't multitask, let's be honest. Also, the bruise right here happened yesterday when I fell into the cage. Y'all, I'm all bruised up. It is bad. I look crazy. Honestly, I cannot get enough of this foundation, you guys. I can't believe I put it away for so long. I would use this in every single one of my videos. Also, now that I have you guys here, I'd love to know your thoughts on the Shop With Me vlog where I went to TJ Maxx, Walgreens, and also Nordstrom. I had a lot of fun filming that video. It was a little bit more chill and relaxed and like a typical Shop With Me because I did include Bobito in it, so there was some like conversation happening there. It was a lot of fun and I definitely wanna film more videos like it, so let me know if you guys would be cool with me doing that here on my channel. I just like, I really want to. If not, if you guys are just like, no, makeup, all we want is makeup. 
um, then we're probably just going to put all of those videos on our vlog channel soon. But it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself in that video. Let's actually move on to concealer. I will be using this concealer right here. This is by Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light. Oh my god, I was using this in almost every single one of my videos last year. I did put it away because I have been trying out a bunch of new things, but I always go back to it because it is such a great 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 concealer if you guys haven't tried like the light illusion line in general from flower beauty i definitely recommend i love the light illusion powder it's definitely a spot on dupe for the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder in my personal opinion also their foundation is really really good if you want something a little bit more natural it's definitely not like full-on coverage but it looks beautiful on the skin but anyways i'm just kind of taking my sponge and as you can see, that concealer just like instantly brightened underneath the eyes, which is something I am all about. So a little trick I like to do after blending out my concealer is I'll take my sponge and a brush and I'll brush my brush onto the sponge just to get a little bit of that foundation on there. And then I'll take it right here in the very inner corner and I'll lightly dust it in this area just to get the eyeshadow to blend a little bit more as you can see the eyeshadow sits pretty pretty high in my very inner corner whereas over here it sits a little bit lower and it looks a little bit better so that's kind of what I like to do you definitely don't need a lot of product for this step which is why I'm taking my brush and wiping it on the sponge rather than dipping it into a bunch of concealer I really just feel like this gives you a very soft and diffused effect if you ask me then you can go in with your sponge and blend everything together look at me hitting you guys with all the tips all the tips let's actually move on to loose powder i will be using this loose powder by maybelline this is the fit me loose powder in the shade light medium i'm not even going to fake the funk when you take the cap off it looks really really dark but i promise you it doesn't go on this dark so it looks a little intimidating i'm going to take my sponge dip it into the powder and i'm actually going to use this to set that concealer down and in place I used to use the shade called Fair, and it was really, really light. It was really, really nice underneath the eyes, but I recently ran out of it, and I really wanted to use the shade Light Medium up before I went out and purchased another one because I have so many powders in my collection. You guys have no idea. I will also say there's no better feeling than actually using up a product. I feel like since I started my YouTube channel, I've accumulated so much makeup that it's very rare that I'll run through a product completely. But when I do, you know I love it. Like I have so many powders. So when I run through one, I know for a fact that I love it so much because I've used it and used it and used it to the point where it's all gone. So that's definitely a really, really awesome feeling. I'm also going to take just a little bit of this powder on my forehead and t-zone just to kind of mattify it because this is an area i typically get oily throughout the day but all in all i think my skin looks really good it looks hella flawless which blows my mind because you guys know i've been struggling with my skin for so long and i feel like i probably got it to a point where i'm happy for actual pressed powder i'm gonna use this by mac this is the studio fix powder in the shade nc30 this is definitely a throwback product it's a product that i've been using since i started my channel i always go back to this because it literally is a foolproof powder that gives me a really really awesome finish it also gives you additional coverage you can wear this on its own or you can wear it over top of your foundation it's really all dependent on what you're into i'm also going to run some of this powder on my neck to get a better blend but so far whoo we looking flawless so let's talk about bronzers i am going to throw it back to hula bronzer by benefit i'm also going to use a little bit of hula light now since these two came out years ago i do know that they did extend the shade range which is really really awesome i'm going to take some of hula light and i actually like to use this as kind of like a transitional shade for my actual bronzer i know it sounds so so weird but this is how i used to use the product and anytime i use these two this is how i still use it till this day now this isn't too dark on me it's actually very very light but that's why it is kind of like a transitional shade for my bronzer so i'm just gonna go in big circular motions here and i'm also gonna take some right here on my temples because i do want to add like some color like some drama some definition because i'm looking very very flat after putting on all of that face powder 
After going in with Hoola Light, I'm going to take a little bit of the original Hoola. This is just slightly darker than Hoola Light, and I am using an M530, so it's kind of like a domed brush. And I'm going to use this to really deepen up my bronzer. Just warm it up a little bit more. And then with a little bit more of my Fit Me powder, I'm going to take some of that and put it directly underneath my bronzer just to kind of clean it up. This is definitely like a throwback method of cleaning up my bronzer. I used to do this so much, like I couldn't do my makeup without doing this stuff, but I recently stopped doing it, but I wanted to kind of change up the pace today. Also gonna take some of that bronzer right here alongside my nose for a little snatcheroo. Like I love a good nose snatch. Not that good at it, but I love a good nose snatch. So I did wipe all that powder off. I'm now gonna go in with a blush. I'm throwing it back to NARS Orgasm. Oh, you guys, this was such a staple blush for so long. It still is such a beautiful shade. So I'm gonna pop some on my cheeks. And again, this color is just going to be beautiful with the look. And for highlight today, I did decide that I wanted to use a single eyeshadow by Maybelline. This is called the Glow Down. It is one of their expert wear single shadows that I really love to use as a highlight. It's like two, three dollars. Like if you're balling on a budget, girl, go get this because it is blinding and so beautiful. Also just gonna take some right here on the apples of my cheeks. And of course I have to take a little bit and pop it on my nose. So I'm definitely loving the way the look is coming out. I definitely want to smoke out my very lower lash line. I'm going to take this shade right here called Misbehave on our flat definer brush by Collab. I really love our flat definer brush because it's super soft and it's not, it's not as sharp as your typical flat definer brush would be. So it doesn't irritate underneath the eyes whatsoever. It really just glides on without tugging or pulling. Then I'm going to pick up a little bit of this orange shade on an M507 and I'm going to use that to really smoke out my lash line. I just want a little bit of orange to kind of peek through, but nothing crazy. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that orange and then kind of just blend it above of this burgundy, just so that way it looks like it goes with the look. For my water light, I'm gonna use this by ColourPop. This is one of their cream crayon eyeliners. This one is in the shade Puppy. It's like an orange. I think it's going to set this look off. I'm just gonna kind of wiggle this in here. If you guys haven't tried these liners by ColourPop, they are so freaking good. I pretty much have them in every single shade because that's how obsessed I am. Like, a little too obsessed. All right, we looking super cute with the orange in the waterline. I'm gonna take a little bit of mascara and just put it on my lower lashes and then we'll finish off with the lips. I'm just putting a little bit of brow gel into my brows because they were looking a little ashy i'm just using this by benefit nothing new here nothing new so we're going to finish things off with the lips i'm going to use the mac lip liner in the shade plum to align my lips completely Then I'm gonna go in with this liquid lipstick in the shade Chola. This is a collaboration with Becky G and ColourPop. It's more like a brown. I was gonna do a burgundy lip, but I feel like I need to kind of offset the cranberry and burgundy on the eyes. So I'm gonna go in with this really dark brown because it's gorgeous. And after popping on my lip, this right here is the final and completed look using a full face of nothing new. I really want to recycle some old products, products that I may have used maybe once or twice, like the Through My Eyes palette. I used this once on my channel and never again. No idea why, because it is a really, really great palette. I did come up with this very cranberry smoked out eye look. I know it is a little bit dramatic, but honestly, fall is when you want to bring the drama. I'm definitely going to film another cranberry look with something a little bit more toned down something a little bit more wearable maybe i'll pair it with a nude lip we'll see how things go but let me know what other palettes you guys want me to use to create some fall looks i really want to give you guys so much inspo this fall season so i'd appreciate your recommendations i love you thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already click that bell and give the video a big old like i love you and until next time i'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one deuces.